Well, greetings, printing enthusiasts. My name is Vicki Somo. This is Teagall 3D. Uh, today's episode, I'm going to talk about my contributions to the We the Rosies project. If you're not familiar with the We the Rosies project, it's by We the Builders. Uh, they're working in conjunction with Adam Savage, and they're doing a giant 2,625 piece Rosie the Riveter sculpture for Nation of Makers, the Nation of Makers conference, which is going to happen in early June. Me personally, I've only printed uh, 10 pieces for the sculpture. Um, they asked that it would be in skin tone, so I had a variety of different color fabs. So I had light gold and light brown, I had cork fill, I had um, wood fill, which is the closest that I could find to my own skin tone. I do have one piece in particular that is special. With permission from We the Builders, I pulled the piece into blender and I put in a secret cavity. You know how I love embedding things. And so what my family and I did was we all took some cardstock and we wrote down names of creative women that just inspire us. And it's not not in any by any means uh, 3D printing women, though there's pretty much a lot of 3D printing women in there. Uh, but we also had quilters and crocheters, uh, people who are just really good at those Pinterest worthy parties that do these amazing party favors that are above my my skill level in league. We ended up with so many names that I had to like push all the papers down as the print was going to, to cram more names in. And uh, the final piece, uh, when we took it off the printer and you shake it, you can't hear anything. There is no way for any outside person to know that those names are in there. Uh, my mom at first questioned what's the point, that nobody knows that those names are in there. Um, but I know, and now you guys know. And I, I think, um, for me, one of the things that's meaningful and special about that is uh, in our maker community, and in, in our 3D printing community, um, there's a lot of very visible, talented people out there. The content creators and the people who are sharing their work on Instagram, the people who are diligently sharing models up on uh, Thingiverse and other model sharing sites, um, the people who are part of our wonderful uh, Twitter community. Um, but one thing that's important to remember is we're just the tip the very tip of the iceberg and there's so many other talented people out there that we don't see but they're still there. I think we could sort of think of it as light matter and dark matter. You know we see in the universe we can see the stars but it's also believed that there's all this matter out there that we can't see that is not visible but it still has an impact on our universe. It's still there and it still has an influence. So with the We the Rosies project, they want people to make a video to talk about uh, two questions. And the first one, what does being a maker mean to you? And uh, two things come to mind. Um, first off, I'm, I've very driven a lot of my um, models are have a loved one in mind, you know? Um, uh, my second model ever was a um, school bus wine stopper uh, that I had printed at Shapeways in gold plated steel. Uh, that I designed for my mom after her uh, retirement from a school bus driver after 24 years. And uh, to this day, whenever my mom has friends uh, retire, we give them a customized school bus wine stopper as well or a customized school bus uh, Christmas ornament. So we have in this power to make these little niche customized gifts uh, for our loved ones that may not be on the mass market. For me personally, another advantage I get from being a maker is I am routinely practicing my ability to learn, uh, my ability to research, my ability to take a creative look and uh, work around a obstacle or problem. And I think that this serves me really well outside of the scope of making. I think this helps me prepare for town council meetings or uh, making a presentation to the planning commission board or one time I had to uh, go to court and um, it gave me the confidence to research and have all my ducks in a row to speak, um, to speak on my own behalf. Um, these are things that I could do because I, I I do it every day as a ma as a maker. Um, so I know, I, I I know the future is going to have problems. I know the future is going to have things that are scary. But I also know that I can research and learn. I I know that I can fumble around and possibly fail. But I know that ultimately 
I will figure it out. And I, I, I have that confidence in myself because of making. The second question is a little tougher for me. Uh, they wanted us to imagine who Rosie the Riveter would be today. And um, what I keep coming back to with that is um, the, there's a famous poster. It's not the original uh, Rosie the Riveter um, illustration. Uh, I don't think she was even called Rosie the Riveter at the time. But the famous poster for, it was a motivational poster for Westinghouse, I believe. And um, on it, it doesn't say, I can do it. It says, we can do it. And that's what's um, resonating with me today, is um, I do think here in our 3D printing community and our maker community, we, we have a great community. And it's a we. And I think the Rosie the Riveter of today would be a we. And then using that as a shameless plug, uh, if you are looking to get more involved in the community, if you're looking to celebrate the community, if you're looking to uh, see inspiration of your own 3D printing and 3D modeling projects, uh, on June 23rd and 24th, we're going to have the East Coast Rip Rap Festival in Bel Air, Maryland. Please consider yourself invited. Please come. Um, I w I'm going to be there. I would love to see you there. Um, if you have 3D printing projects that you're excited about, uh, if you have 3D models that you're excited about, I encourage you to get an exhibitor table. Be some of that light matter that other people can see. Um, don't be a dark matter. Come out and show and be visible and um, just share your enthusiasm, your creativity, and help inspire others to be as creative as they can be as well. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you are interested in the We The Rosies project, I noticed this morning they um, have a, a last call for some uh, missing parts. I think they had a little over 100 parts that are remaining. Uh, you could go to wethebuilders.com and claim and print a part. I'm sure uh, they will really, really appreciate you coming in at this, uh, the, this last home final stretch and uh, helping save the day and helping complete the sculpture.